Well, hey folks, and welcome to Homesteader News Solar Cabin Channel. It's spring on the homestead, finally. Some of you watched my weird weather video and seen that uh, here on April 1st we had uh, nine inches of snow just showed up out of nowhere. And it was really, really frustrating because I was so looking forward to getting out of my yard and getting started on cleaning up around here and getting my garden ready and everything like that. And then here all we got all this snow dumped on us. But of course it melted off in a day or two and uh, that extra water will help our gardens and our flowers and our pastures all get going. So it's a good thing. But uh, now it's beautiful weather and uh, it's time to get busy on some of these projects I got around my homestead that I was going to show you. The first project that I want to do is to revamp my solar electric system. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of you know that I'm off grid. I use solar electric and wind power to power my cabin. And uh, the system I've used is uh, 480 watts, or, or excuse me, 580 watts solar panel power and uh, 400 watt wind turbine and uh, I'm going to show you what my current system is and then I'm going to show you the project that I'm going to work on uh, that I'll show you and how I'm planning on revamping it this year. Okay this is a Harbor Freight uh, brand trailer and you've probably seen a lot of these. Uh, brand new they're about $300. I picked this one up for you know 50 60 bucks at a yard sale from an old guy and uh, I've used this it's been a really good trailer but it's a lightweight trailer it's not designed like I can't put my motorcycle in it or haul a, a lawn tractor in it or anything like that mostly used for hauling junk and lumber and stuff like that it's been really really handy good little trailer uh, but it's an old trailer and I, I uh, don't really need it now because I've got this that I just picked up at a yard sale for a few hundred dollars this is a heavy-duty axle trailer uh, designed specifically for carrying motorcycles and uh, snowmobiles and lawn tractors. Uh, it's got a, one of those swivel bed trailers, and I got a really, really good deal on it because the guy was hurting for some money. I uh, did a little bartering with him, and uh, it's got steel sides, and it's got the peg holes for putting sides on it, so you could haul a whole lot of stuff on this. So now that I've got this trailer, I really don't need this Harbor Freight anymore, and it's a little bit too light duty for what I like to use for most of my stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this trailer, and I'm going to convert that to hold my uh, remote uh, solar panel power system for my cabin and also to take up with me when I go up into the high Uinas. So, you can pick these trailers up. You can get them new, but they're a little bit pricey. I would look on Craigslist or one of the advertisement websites or locally and see if you can find one of these. I wouldn't pay more than $100, $150 for a trailer this size. This is a 4 by 8 I think is what it is. Uh, but they're good trailers for the purpose that I'm going to use it for. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and get the materials to start building on this. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you here what my design plan is for this uh, remote power system and that way you can get an idea and this is just in the idea stage right now I've seen some of these built but boy the commercial units are really expensive they want like five thousand dollars for a remote power system way way out of my budget plus I wouldn't pay for something I can build myself so I'm going to show you how to build it but first I'll just uh, whet your appetite with the design plans and maybe you'll, you'll have some ideas of your own uh, and maybe you want to share them with me and the other folks here on my videos alright folks uh, stay on this uh, video and you can see the design plans Okay guys, this is what I'm thinking of uh, building on that little Harbor Freight trailer. And this is just in the design stages. I haven't built it yet. Uh, so like everything, a lot of times my designs change as I'm going along. But this will kind of give you an idea of what I'm thinking here. Um, first off, I've got this, uh, just this mock-up uh, 4x8 trailer that's the same size as my trailer. And what I want is uh, so that my panels in the winter time will set at 45 degree angle. Okay, because in the winter time the sun is lower and it will hit strike the panels at this direction here so it will get uh, the majority of the sunshine and uh, I need a box of course to hold my batteries and my other equipment underneath it and in the summertime the sun will be much much higher and will strike at a different angle so then these braces here will fold up underneath the panels and I'll lay the panels down flat on top of the box okay when my sun is really high in the summertime I want it to be almost flat because that will collect most of the sun as it's going across the sky here so that's the the basic design idea now um, because panels all come in different sizes I'm going to have to measure my panels and you will have to measure your panels to decide uh, what size platform you're going to make, but you can look at this platform to get some ideas of what I think would work. Now the box is uh, two feet high by six feet long 
by three foot wide two feet by six feet by three feet and I'm gonna put it on these four by four skids and they're called skids because I just cut off the front end of each one of them uh, six inches back up to the middle of the four by four so that they can be pulled across the ground or off of the trader and my thinking is that I may want to put this directly on the ground instead of leaving it on my trader all the time and that way I can just lower it down to the ground and slide it off and put it directly on the ground and then if I want to load it back on the trader I can hook onto it uh, with a cable and a, a pulley and just pull that right up into my trader again okay and the other reason is I'm not completely sure if this little trader will handle this weight with these batteries in it so if it turns out that I build this and it's too much weight if my springs get completely compressed and I'm bottom, bottoming out my springs and it doesn't look like that trader is going to handle that weight then I'm, I'm still going to be able to use this in my other trader which is heavy duty I know it will handle it and I can just slide it uh, using a pulley I can just slide it right up into my other trailer uh, instead of using this or I can use a winch would be the easiest way now the box is just a basic box uh, but I constructed it so it would be very stable and sturdy and I would use screws and wood glue uh, to construct this using plywood exterior and the bottom and there's a bottom that goes on on top of the 4x4's then this 2x4 ridge uh, plate goes around you can see goes around the inside and then I've got 2x4 braces and another 2x4 on side on its end uh, going around for a top plate pretty basic box okay and there's enough room in here for eight uh, batteries eight deep cycle batteries there's enough room in here for eight deep cycle batteries with the generator if you don't put your generator in here there's room for even about 12 batteries in here probably but that would be a lot of weight on a trailer batteries weigh a lot so you got you want to make sure that you're calculating your weight for your your axle don't overload your axles I'm gonna put six batteries my batteries are all a mismatched bunch of batteries so they won't look like this but I'm gonna put at least six batteries in there for, for storage power and it'll give me probably about one kilowatt of storage power and I've just got my inverter and my uh, controller just sitting in here for now because I haven't decided where I'm gonna put them but I want enough room in the front end of this to put my generator and I've got a Honda generator but I just show this generator in here to show there's plenty of room for it and then I'm gonna put two doors on the front of this I haven't exactly show up, put where my doors are cuz I'm not sure yet where I'm gonna put my doors but I'm gonna put uh, at least three doors on here one so I can access my batteries one so I can get to my power equipment and then I'll probably put a partition right across here and I will put some vents in here so that I could actually run the generator open up these vents and run the generator while it's in here now this will be nice because um, you've got your entire power system set up there if your batteries get real low in the winter time you can start up your generator and while you're using your generator to run stuff in the house it will also charge back up your batteries which you have to do occasionally in winter time uh, in summer no problem the batteries will be full all the time uh, but in winter time occasionally you will have to use a generator so it's nice this becomes your entire power system uh, remote power system on a trailer uh, for an off-grid cabin like mine or for a bug out situation or for a backup power system for your regular house so that's the design there now when I'm pulling it down the road it would be in this position or when I'm in uh, summer time these panels would just be laid flat so they collect the most of the sun uh, as the sun travels over pretty much high overhead okay then they would be raised up to that 45 degree angle only only in winter time would, would they ever go to the 45 degree angle most of the year they're gonna be at this flat angle here alright so that's my ideas three foot wide six foot long two foot high and these braces will swivel up underneath the the platform these braces will swivel up from underneath the platform and then I'll have two bolts that go through here probably with wing nuts on them so that I can just swivel those down there'll be one bolt in the top up here and I'll just swivel these down uh, put my wing nuts on and that will hold that up in winter time at 45 degree angle so they collect the most sun now this will be real nice because at this angle here the snow will basically just run off I won't have to do any uh, brushing of snow if I have to do any ice removal I can just do it from the ground I can stand on the ground and use my little scraper and I can scrape the ice off if I want to wash them off I can put them up and just spray them with the hose uh, we'll get the bird crap off of them and that gives me plenty of storage for my batteries now this 
I planned on this being about a 500 watt system, which is what I have on my cabin now. And uh, I measured these. These are uh, Kyocera 130 watt panels, which will fit on a about a five foot by uh, eight foot six inch board. So, but that will depend on the size of your panels because my panels are all mismatched. So I'm going to have to measure this board out to fit my panels. If all your panels are the same size, it would make it a lot easier to build this. But my panels are kind of a mismatch, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get all my panels to fit on there uh, without taking up too much room. Uh, but you should be able to get about 500 watts of 12 volt panels on there or at least 500 watts easily 500 watts of 24 volt panels on there because they're about three foot wide uh, by about five foot long so you can get uh, 500 watts on there pretty easy of panels and about six or eight deep cycle six volt batteries would be good for a storage system that'll give you a couple days of power without sun all right so that's the design. That's what I'm looking at. So now I'm going to have to go get some material. i got to measure my panels and uh, figure out how I'm going to build this. But that will at least whet your appetite. Once I get a build and I know for sure what my dimensions are, I will include this in my new book, Ten Tiny Homes, and also as a separate ebook that you can download. That way, if you're interested in this project, because I think this would be a really nice project for an off-grid home, uh, for a bug-out situation, or for a backup power system for your home, if your power goes out at your home, how are you going to run your power? Well, this system here would at least run all your lights and a lot of your gadgets and, and uh, you know, may even keep a refrigerator going depending on what size refrigerator you got. So it would run a freezer. So that's a pretty good system there. So that's what I'm looking at. If you have any design ideas, comments, uh, things you think might be done better or different, go ahead and put them down in my comments there because this is still in the idea stage. I'm still designing and developing as I go along and uh, if you've had some experience with this or can think of a somewhat different way of doing it let me know all right folks have a good day I'll go get the materials I'll start working on this